Lord Admiral's men, to Lord Pembroke's men, the Sussex and Queen's men, where all these characters were performing. Shakespeare walking around church. All these amazing people mm. were here so we can show you leather shoes that were here. Because the Rose became a bit of an underdog afterwards. The globe was brand new, it was big, it was beautiful, the swan was beautiful. And later on, Penzo just decided not to renew the lease. He had other ventures, he had built the Fortune Theater up here in Cripple Bay. Why this is ill, nor am I out of it. Thinkest thou that I, I saw the face, face of God, God. Stand still, you ever-moving spheres of heaven, not tormented, that time may cease, and midnight never come. Accursed be he that first invented war. Nor is circumcised, that is one one is the fount where honour springs. It's hell, and where hell is. A wound is nothing, but he never so deep. I've always been interested in the theatre and also I was teaching English and drama in a Southwark comprehensive and when I heard that they had discovered various things on the site of the Rose Theatre I had to come along and find out for myself so when I knew that they had discovered quite a lot of the theatre itself and people were trying to come along and build over it I had to join the people to stop them and I was here the night that they had the protest and was the key holder at Bear Gardens where there were the only four toilets in use in the area and we had a lot of food and drink and people were coming along we had the only phone that was available and people coming phoning their friends saying you must come along come and spend the night with Ian McKellen and Simon Hughes it'll be great fun and also we had some youngsters coming too and they were bringing in food and everybody was sharing things it was very much a, a sharing experience and everybody was really enthusiastic and it was their heritage they came from all over the borough people in the acting profession it was a time that was really vibrant which was quite a contrast with the area which was dismal and dark and not many people came here by choice but it was a really good time and of course I've been interested since and want to see the whole place come alive and well with a little bit of luck we get a grant and get the whole place and showing people what the remains here um, meant to people at the time and also for them to be interpreted there's a lot to learn here not just about the theatre practice of the time but also about the social life of the time and I think it's very very important on on both sides he that will a nail house keep must have three things in store a chamber and a bellows bed must have three things in store chamber and a bellows keep must have three things in store a chamber and a bellows bed must have three things in store when people come into the um, the atmosphere here they seem to sort of shut off for a moment in order to take it in and then really wonder what's going on here because they're not quite sure they they feel an atmosphere and it's the atmosphere that people pick up the stage where edward elaine himself was performing is to have these artifacts we, we can show you leather shoes that were here we can show you props a gilded iron fork a baluster fragment the gold ring with the mysterious inscription think of me god willing uh, we can show you 
the um, pumpkin seeds, the strawberry seeds, the tobacco seeds, the belt buckles, the 685 dress pins that they found, ivory columns, dice, the list goes on. They can have a little visual tour of the foundation. So I'm sure Philip Hanslow and Edward Delay would be really, really pleased about that. Because that was the time. Was it Christopher Marlowe's? We don't